Hey y'all, welcome back to Ascending with Ashley. I'm Ashley. This is uh, Mama Chronicles, Autism Mama Chronicles. Oh, fuck. We just had a huge meltdown. Like, he hasn't had a meltdown this big in... I, I, I don't think since he's been four. Like, this meltdown was crazy large. And it started because of miscommunication about what he wanted to watch. We watch YouTube. He has a tablet. Um, and so he's been watching a lot of new stuff on YouTube. Um, because he's been exposing himself to more new stuff on his tablet. Um, and yeah, usually if that happens and he doesn't make a decision or tell me what he wants... But he was saying no to everything, like legit saying no, um, which is progress on its own, right? It's just not, I didn't know what he wanted. So anyway, when this happens, he usually will settle for Moana. Moana can usually calm him down. Sometimes he's been napping after college. He gets really tired. I know a couple of the kids in class have like some colds or something, and I really wish they wouldn't come, but they are coming. So I'm like, is he getting sick? Is he hungry? So I just wanted to talk about ways that we do this. I set it off because I got a little frustrated with him saying no to everything. Because we went through like everything he's been watching right now. Um, like twice. And I think it was overwhelming. Too many options. So I put Moana on and he still wouldn't settle for Moana. Um, and then... Um, I'm in the background. Anyway, um, and then, like, he wasn't saying anything, and I'm like, dude, you have to tell me what you want. Like, you can point to the TV, you know? So I was, like, reminding him, I'm like, you have ways to communicate. You just, you know, you don't have to speak the language. What are these kids doing? You don't have to speak the same language as me, but you do need to, you know, try to communicate somehow. He just screamed for a good hour and a half. Like, nothing calmed him down. So while he was screaming, after I did get initially frustrated, there's a lot of flies back here because there's like cracks in the doors. Are you kidding me? Because I can hear humans and the one thing you're supposed to bark about is humans, not cats. Anyway. So, um, I turned off everything. One of the things that we do when there's a sensory overload, which is what this was, um, miscommunication, inability to find common ground whatsoever. Um, I turn the lights off. I turn Christmas lights on um, in our big room, but I turn everything else off. I turn the TVs off. I gave him the option of having his tablet because I was like, if you can show me on your tablet what you want, you know, nothing. So then I was like, okay, are you hungry? Are you in pain? I gave him some Motrin. I gave him the choice to take it. Um, we also use CBD. Um, and we don't do it as regularly as we should. Uh, we're getting better. So I gave him... That didn't come till later, though. So they were screaming. I hid the remotes because he was going for the remotes. Um, I got hit a couple times. I'm not really worried about it. I do reinforce, so like, mm, don't hit me. Um, so I shouldn't have gotten frustrated but it's okay i get frustrated too um as parents <laughs> it's very hard to not communicate the same way um so anyway i turned everything off i made him his favorite foods um i got him a popsicle because he was screaming a lot so i'm like mm, maybe popsicles are one of his safe foods um but I could hear that his throat was getting raspy from screaming for an hour and a half. Um, so then, um, you know, I told him, I kept telling him, like, you need to take a break. Like, you need to, hi guys, you need to, um, stop it, you two. You need to, um, take a break, you know, you need to talk to mommy. Um, I think this time I'm really proud of myself for being able to stay calm because sometimes I get really mad, but, um, yeah. So after, you know, 
he would calm down for a couple minutes and then start screaming again. And it literally, this went on for a good hour and a half. Probably wasn't that long. It probably felt like that long. Um, maybe it was. What time is it? No, it was probably an hour and a half. <laughs> 45 to an hour and a half. Just screaming. Um, so he had options of food. Um, I took away the sensory overload options. Um, and I reminded him of the things I said, you know. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. I reminded him that he could go outside. I reminded him that he could, you know, go on the shaker. We've got one of those vibrating plates. Um, he also has one of those, like, twirly-whirly sensory, like, seats from TikTok shop where you can just, like, spin. And so I was like, dude, you know, you gotta go, like, move your body. Um, he's absolutely terrified of taking baths right now, so eventually I said, do you want to take a bath? And that kind of made him calm down, because he's like, no, I absolutely don't want to do that. It makes me really sad, because he really loved baths, and they were really good for him, but he saw Daddy Longleg back in April, and hasn't wanted, every time we take a bath, we scream, and I have to get in with him in my bathing suit. It's really unfortunate right now, but, um, so... Uh, I put on the TV and I put on Pango. Pango is the app that he builds the theme parks in. They have, YouTube has some programs of Pango apps, but like people do it so you can like watch it. God, these two are weird. Hey, 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 knock it off. Um, and yeah, he still has food to eat. The lights are still down, which is why I'm back here. I also don't want to be heard. But, um, if your kid goes through sensory meltdowns, I was like, should I make a movie directory? And then I'm like, no, because YouTube literally has everything. And so I reminded him, like, but he was mid-meltdown, he couldn't hear. You know, I'm like, you have to communicate. And he heard me. We, we got to a couple points where he had calmed down enough. And I told him, I'm like, I can't do anything for you right now. You know, I, I, I tried to help you. And you kept saying no. Um, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna go through absolutely every fucking thing, you know, P placed my boundary of like, we went through everything you're used to watching right now twice, and you said no to everything. Um, like, I can't read your mind, you're not pointing, you're not getting your tablet and showing me what you want. You know, I reminded him, like, you don't have to speak the same language, but you do need to communicate to mommy somehow of what you want. Like, it's not, I don't know, you know, I'm like, are you hurting? I gave you medicine if you're hurting you need to take the medicine um and then he wanted to get in the bathroom and the cats kind of hang out in the bathroom so when we went in there that was him communicating he wanted medicine so i gave him the cbd um and then i gave him some stuff for flu symptoms just in case because i know one of the students has been throwing up and she's got like a gnarly cough and i'm like why are you coming and she's coming to friday so he's probably caught something so, um, I gave him some medicine for that. I gave him his vitamins. Kind of gave him everything I could, <laughs> being safe, um, in the bathroom. And, um, then I, he wanted the TV. He came and, like, told me he wanted the remote. So I said, okay, we can try again. But if you get upset, we're not, we're, we're not going to be able to watch TV. Um, so I turned it on and I found a pango that was like a haunted house and there was a ton of candy coming out and like raining um and there's ghosts we really like that stuff and it was only like 20 minutes though so i sat with him for a few minutes and then i got him a bean bag to lean up on and then i sat on the vibration plate to kind of regulate myself but like stayed in the same space as him um and then he did his twirly whirls on his chair and then he took over the vibration plate, which was good. Um, and then, unfortunately, the haunted house ended. So I found a different pango that he's watching right now. And hopefully, um, just giving space. Uh, yeah, so just remember that this is all as it happens. Um, you can't, but I just wanted to share the techniques. Um, what really works for us is in sensory overload is turning things off um moving our body 
you know if i'm being hurt or like hit uh i will separate myself i went ahead and did the dishes while he was screaming at me um it helps me to feel good and then it also feels sometimes i like to like disassociate but like this one was big we haven't had a big one like this in a long time so i knew that if i was on my phone he was gonna get upset so i turned on my volume but like kept it on things that i wanted because i didn't want to get overwhelmed so uh cbd really helps if you can find a doctor to prescribe you cbd and supply you a cbd highly recommend um we did that and that helped almost immediately like we're big fans of cannabis in this house these dogs are crazy hey stop all right anyway i just wanted to share i hope this helps um if you're on the spectrum or neurodivergent or your children are um like i said it's situation situation and you know if you've been a parent longer than me of course you know these things thank you for the validation <laughs> but yeah um that was intense we haven't had one like that i don't think since he's been this age honestly it was it was big so i feel like he's sick so okay have a good one